I consider what I've anticipate to be a number of people who might have something to say regarding sympathy. And if you opt to do so, it, it's on you. I do not compel to say anything. The allegations in the petition filed today speak for themselves, but we believe they explain a number of peculiarities in the six-week trial. Well, it's really surprising that you're waiving this right at this time. And if you opt to do so... The information we got, I can tell you, was independent of each juror. The first juror we talked to, we got information about Ms. Hill saying, don't be fooled. And, and then the second juror, independent of the first juror, says the same thing, and the third juror, independent of the other two, say the same thing. And so we're very confident that the information is accurate. I know you have to see Paul and Maggie during the night times and you're attempting to go to sleep. I'm sure they come and visit you. Once the jury went out, they were told, no more smoke breaks. No, you're not, you people that want nicotine, you're going to have to get a verdict first. They've concluded that you continue to lie and lie throughout your testimony. And he may be taken away. 